attention lately to some of our tech videos you've noticed this big blue thing here well this is my personal machine it's a 2017 uh, Razor Turbo um, affectionately known as the party wagon and I've had it for about eight months now I got it in April and it's been through a lot of changes already um, first thing we did if you've ever driven a long bed in the woods and especially over rocks gotta have a skid plate so we got the guys at Trail Armor, they sent us one, it's a half inch UHMW, full skid front to back. It's even got these nerfs that come around the corners, which I really, really love. Um, rode it like that for a while. Um, next thing that happened, out trail riding one day, one of those flimsy factory radius rods, bent one pretty badly. Um, got with the guys at L&W Fab in uh, Rome, Georgia. And uh, they got me fixed up with a set of billet, high clearance um, radius rods and really, really like those a lot. The uniballs on the bottom, uh, Himes on top that are adjustable. Um, you can adjust them on the machine, really really nice quality product, and you're not gonna bend those. And then if you guys remember the exhaust shootout video that Matt and I did, um, we, we did a shootout with some Gibson exhaust, single versus dual, and we had to, for comparison's sake, we had to put them on two machines and test them at the same time, but. In all honesty, I didn't want a loud muffler on my machine. I, I kind of liked it the way it was. So reluctantly, I put it on there and then turns out it sounds really, really cool. And it's really not super loud. So we ended up leaving it on there and I, I really like it a lot. Um, then of course, safety, you know, we're running the stock seats, but got to have some harnesses. We picked up some four point harnesses with the pass throughs. And uh, Tim Meeks at Rocky Hollow Metal knocked out this cage for me. It's full custom. He doesn't typically do four seaters and he built it exactly the way I wanted him to build it. Um, super happy with the way it turned out. Um, and of course, you know, again, along the lines of safety, I'm big about trail safety. So the more lights you have, the easier it is for people to find you, right? So I hit up the Amazon specials and we got lights all over this thing. Backup lights, forward lights, light sabers, rock lights, you name it. I got it. But, can't be a party wagon without tunes, right? So to get the Razor sounding right, we got up with the guys at Crawl Tunes, and you may know him as Derek, but we know him as Off-Road Jesus. And we picked up one of their two speaker kits um, that comes with a Bluetooth head unit. Now one thing that's really cool about Crawl Tunes, all of their stuff is made in America, including these cans. Um, they're based out of Texas and they are not an audio company they're just a group of off-roaders that wanted a better solution for putting audio equipment into their rigs and this kit just like all of the rest of their kits are universal this is not a razor specific kit um, their cans are proprietary and they you they mount in your machine using these clamps that are tube clamps so basically if you have anything with tubing razor cage a buggy a jeep you can mount these speakers in anything so their two speaker kit comes with two six and a half inch marine grade speakers these are uh, pretty high quality fosgate speakers um, they mount in these cans that uh, are specifically designed to work with these speakers they're tuned for them these are injection molded again in in america um, they mount again with these clamps and what's a unique feature about this kit that a lot of other kits don't have these clamps can index um, in 40 or uh, 45 degree increments so if you got some kind of crazy cage or we, you got to mount them in a in a pretty odd location on your machine um, you don't want them pointing it pointing at each other you don't want them pointing up in the air 
So these clamps are, you know, pretty universal in letting you uh, mount these in a lot of different ways. Um, this kit comes with 400 watt amp. It also comes with their Bluetooth controller, um, which so you can uh, run music basically just straight off your phone. You don't have to have any head unit, no additional wires. So the kit is pretty much plug and play. Um, it, it comes with this harness, it's prefabbed. All you have to hook up is a constant power and switch power and a ground. And it comes with uh, the remote wires. You can run up to four speakers. This one comes with two, but it's got enough wires pre-built in where you can run four speakers, two in the front and two in the rear. And we're gonna get this kit thrown into this machine. We're gonna show you how easy it is. All right, so the first thing you need to do to install this kit is figure out where you're going to mount your cans. And we've already scoped out a good place right behind the passenger seats on our Razor. Um, you're going to get these uh, cans clamped to the cage and make sure they're pointed forwards towards you, the driver, not backwards. Because nobody wants to hear that hick hop anyway. Uh, the kit comes with these gold connectors, um, so make sure you install those, one red and one black. And it also comes with this jump wire that installs on the inside of the can onto those connectors. And when you get these cans mocked up the way you want them on your machine, you want to take note of how the can is, is oriented. And this is for cosmetic purposes only. Um, these uh, speaker guards do have an orientation to them. So however your can is oriented in the machine, once it's finally installed, you want to take note of basically where the horizon would be. And you can mark it if you want to. I'm going to eyeball it. And the reason you want to do that is when you get ready to drop your speaker in, make sure you got your wires already installed. Black goes to minus. Red goes to plus. Once you get those hooked up, you want to put this speaker in and you want to orient it with that horizon line that you marked earlier. So that way when you get your cans installed, no matter how crooked or upside down or sideways they are, your speakers will be nice and flush when you get them uh, finally installed. All right, so just another note, this mounting flange comes with no holes in it. It's not pre-drilled at all. And the reason being, these cans will accept any brand six and a half speaker. Um, so if you already have speakers laying around that you want to use or you want these with a kit, any of them will work. So again, I've got that oriented the way I want. Throw the cover on it and you can use that to center the speaker in the can. And then note where your four mounting holes are on the screen. And we're going to go ahead and drill a small pilot hole to make mounting these just a little bit easier. I'm going to get all these started to make sure everything stays centered up. You do not want to use a drill on this. You want to put these mounting screws in by hand. They don't have to be super tight. You just want to get everything snug. If you want, if you ride in a lot of water, if you store your machine outside, um, you can put a bead of like RTV sealant around this to seal it up if you want to. I'm not. Um, I'm not a mud hole rider and my rig stays in the shop uh, covered when I'm not riding. So. Just don't over tighten it like you did the last thing. No. Especially the little gold things. You don't don't over tighten them. those. Ask me how I know. Can't have nothing nice. Well, in in Derek's defense, it says that right in his instructions. Do not over tighten. You got hell you got to say. Guess when I saw that little footnote. Now just make one more, just like this one, except opposite. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you got it right behind your passenger's head. Yep. Optimal placement. Hey, you know, sometimes it just won't go anywhere else. So once you get the cans put together and installed where you want them, it's just simple power and ground to the speaker. Alright, now we got the cans in. All we have left to do is install the amp and get everything wired up. Um, this is a marine amp, but you don't want it to really have direct contact with, you know, any kind of outside weather or mud. So we're going to mount ours in here up under the dash on top of the steering column. Um, that's a good place out of the way. Other than that, it's plug and play. The kit comes with this harness that's got your power, ground, switch power. And th again, this is a four channel amp, so it's got enough speaker wire to run four wires. Um, we're all gonna, only going to be using two because we only have two speakers. Um, but we'll get that plugged in. Also, the Bluetooth controller, you're going you're to want to run this somewhere into the cab where you can access it. Um, it does have a little mount. If you want to cut a hole in your dash and mount it permanently, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just use double stick tape and just stick it somewhere if you want to run it in the glove box. It's really up to you. Um, but we're going to run this into the cab. And like I said, it's plug and play. I mean, this is as easy as that. Wire and harness goes there. Now all we have to do is connect power ground switch power. We've already run a pigtail for our speaker wire from the rear through the console. It's, it's down underneath the razor right now. We'll make the connection there with our speaker wire and be ready to jam. All right, got the amp um, installed under the dash, and it's uh, you can use, it comes with some pretty heavy-duty cable ties with the kit. We got ours cable tied down. Um, the bundle for the front speakers that we're not using, we've got tied up and out of the way, just in case we want to add two front speakers in the future. Got the wires for the rear speakers um, ready to cramp together, and we've got uh, switch power, ground, and constant power wired up, ready to go. Um, one other thing to note, just while we're here, um, you can see these bundles of cable I've got up under the dash. Um, there's a, a store on Amazon that I found that sells pre-made wiring harnesses just for any kind of accessory. Light bars, whips, speakers, anything you want. Um, the kit comes, I, I believe the harness is 12 feet long and it comes with a relay and an inline fuse already installed. Um, the power and the ground wire has got a, a cable or a, a covering, like a, wire, a cable loom already on it, a rubberized loom. Um, so it'll protect your wires and it looks a little cleaner. Also at the end where you normally have, you, you have your normal pigtail uh, power and ground so you can plug in your accessories. Well about four feet upstream of that, um, they've spliced in another set of pigtails. So it's got two sets of pigtails, uh, power and ground, for each harness. So, for example, um, if you had two LED cubes and you wanted to mount one on each side of your windshield, well, you can run one harness, one switch to power both cubes. You can run the harness all the way to one side, plug it in while it's got the other pigtail about four feet away from that. So you can plug in two accessories on one switch. It's pretty handy. So if you want to pick up one of those for yourself, we're leaving links for all of, anything on this razor that I've purchased off Amazon. We're going to leave links in the description. Um, so be sure to check down there and uh, we'll have it all listed and you can uh, go to Amazon and pick up one for yourself. All right, so everything's in, buttoned back up. Uh, again, this is our Bluetooth unit and you can really put this anywhere. It comes with a little box. So like in a razor, for example, you got this plastic dash, like if you want to cut out a hole and mount this flush mounted, you can do that. You, you can leave this box exposed, it's waterproof. Um, you can just stick it on something with double sided tape or you could just throw it in the glove box, really. I mean, it, it's all Bluetooth, you just sync your phone up to it. Um, it's got controls or you can control it from your phone either way, but enough talk. Let's see what this thing sounds like. Watch Rock bouncing in style now.
finishing touch. And guys, it's really that easy. I mean, if you want to take your ride from this to this, then you got to get in touch with Off-Road Jesus, aka Derek at Crawl Tunes. Get your ride sounding like this one. All right, folks, so that's it for now on Project Party Wagon. And if you want to get anything at all that we've put on this machine, we're going to leave links in the description. And that is anything, any modification we've made, links in the description to everything so you can get some for yourself. Um, again, thanks to Derek at Crawl Tunes. Uh, make sure you check them out if you need some audio. Um, also, like the cool little font, the RAM mount I've got for my phone that you saw. Uh, he sells all kind of stuff like that um, that will uses the same clamp as the speakers of a clamp your cage. Uh, really cool stuff. Um, if you want to watch any older episodes of Extreme UTV Tech, you can catch those over here. And also stay tuned because next time when you see Project Party Wagon, we're going to be installing this bad boy right here.